I have bought a motion sensor from Freevao for my home automation system. Um, it's ZV Plus certification. Um, you can see it even in the software version. It's a ZW5 version 2.3.2. You can measure temperature. You see it in different languages. And of course, you can measure illumination. It's a box, how it looks like. And now I'm trying to open it without cutting into my finger. Uh, you have seen already in other videos that I have already some uh, switches for lights and for power plugs. And now I want to see as well how uh, the temperature is in the room and if I have some unwanted guests, of course. Okay, so now let's open. Um, let's see what is inside. There you can see the motion sensor. It looks like an eye. If you take it out, it's round completely like a ball. On the front side you have something like a lens and on the back side is the holder where you can put it on the wall or mount it somewhere else wherever you want. Then you have some packaging material there inside. Take it out. And there are some descriptions, manuals in different languages. This is uh, standard for all the Dao products and here you have some uh, material to fix it on the wall. There's a little bit glue and a screw. So, okay, let's open. On the back side you can see there's a battery inside. It's a CR123AA. You take it out, uh, remove the ceiling and put it back. And it wasn't. Uh, let's do it again. Out and back, and now it shows something, but it's not correct. Oh, a third time, get it out and completely back, and now you see the light show. The device is booting, and uh, the device has a motion sensor and a vibration sensor. So every time somebody shakes the device or uh, it detects a motion, the sensor will show. You see it in the green light. No, not. Yeah, there is a little bit, needs a little bit of time until it registers the second one, but it doesn't matter. Um, I will fix it, and now we will have a look how you integrate it and set up in your home control center from Raspberry. Okay, first we have to go into our control center. There is nothing. We have to include it first. We are going there on the settings. Let's select device, add new, add new Z-Wave device and click start inclusion. Now you have to take your sensor, you just take it in your hand, not showing, no. Now there's a reaction, open it, so it's working. On the back side you can see a button over the battery, there you have to press three times, one, two, three, nothing, again. One, two, three, and now it starts software, and we're going back into the control center. So now back to our control center, and you can see ready to include and configuration. Make sure your device is close to your Raspberry, that it have a signal, and maybe you press the button on the back side one time to keep it alive. It takes a while. But if it's ready, it says manual configuration, and which is happening now. You have to wait a little bit, and your device is ready. You have your four new sensors: temperature, illuminate sense, temper, and uh, motion sensor. I will give a new name because I have a lot of devices, and I must make sure that I get the right one. Call it motion sensor. Um, this is a, yeah, this is a, a motion sensor. Even there, I will give him a clear name that they can understand what it is. Call it motion and click save. Now it's updating and you see your device. Let's see, check the device section, manage your device and you see your new Fibaro motion sensor, secured included. Battery status, 
this show you 100% because it's a new one. Network status says nothing because it's a battery device. Okay, let's look to no room. There you have all your device, uh, all your sensors with all your settings, actual readings. You see it's in the night, it's dark and temperature is 28.7 degrees because I have it in my hand. Okay, this is the uh, report, uh, history report. You can see all sensors and the action of the sensors and the time, what was happening. Um, now you see I moved the uh, sensor and the temper and the motion sensor are on. This is for a while, some seconds, and after the shutdown again. Okay, let's have a look to our uh, dashboard. They will see there's still nothing uh, because all are still in rooms. I have here a temper alarm. I want to move it to uh, another room. Uh, it's in the living room, so I move it to the living room. I will save it. And the next time is the temperature. Even this, I will move to the living room. There it is. Click save. And you will see in no room there are only three sensors. And living room, there are now the two other sensors, temper and temperature. Let's check the history and you can see temper and motion sensors are off again. Seconds are over. Um, in the beginning, you have seen as I install the motion sensor, there's a little bit time lap to react for two or three. So I will do it now in the settings. Here you have hardware configuration. And there you have all the um, uh, settings you can change. This is the blind time, the time between two actions to react. I will change it to 10, save the parameter. Unable to data, you can just ignore, click it. It comes all the time. It says updating, successful, but didn't update. So type it again, 10, click, ignore the message. Let's wait, updating, but it was not successful. Now, let's have a look on the other parameters you can change. So you can see all sensitive te sensitivity for temperature, Temper alarm, illumination, temperature messing, measuring interval, um, LED signal mode, all the things you can change. Um, the settings. Um, I think I will change the LED mode because I don't want to uh, blink it all the time. Um, it's better for the battery. You have a longer time. Let's save it. We act there and we'll see. Now, ah, this was successful. LED is inactive. So let's check again the um, uh, time frame. Let's see the blind time sensitivity to 10. Save the parameter. Again, the error message and let's wait. And uh, now it was successful. So you see, you can have to do it once or two or even more times until it's successful. It doesn't work for 100%, but it's the same with all uh, safety devices. Now you can save it into device, all the settings you've done, or update from the device. You get all the settings which are installed in the device, which is as long as you are not excluded from your system. Okay, let's have a check in the living room. There are two sensors still. You can see the history. There's a lot happening now. So the light was a little bit brighter and temperature is going up and down and the motion sensor is reacting. At the end, you can see all the day what's happening, which sensor has reacted and uh, what was the time. So let's have a look back to our living room. There you can see the two sensors and here you can see all sensors with all the uh, settings. The expert user is still from Raspberry from the software. That was it. I hope you liked it and you see you soon.